This video is about rescaling axes in ggplot. And we're starting off where we left off at the end of the last video with our graph of circumference on the x-axis and height on the y. Sometimes instead of presenting the axes on the linear scale that we often think about, we want to transform or stretch them to reveal different things about the data. And we can do that in ggplot using various forms of scale functions. And I'm going to go up here to the end of our geome point line and add a couple of those here. One of the common scale transformations is to log transform the axes. And we can do that using scale y log 10. We'll do a log transformation of the y-axis, a log scaling of the y-axis. And then plus, and we can also add scale x log 10. It's again, it's a function. Uh, and the plus to rescale the x-axis uh, to a logarithmic scale. And we want to make sure there's always a plus on the end of the line, uh, except for the last line, to make sure that everything runs together. So here's our full function. And if we run this, we'll see that we have our same basic graph as before. We even have our same measurements of circumference in centimeters and height in meters, but the axis has been stretched so that it's logarithmically scaled, and we can see uh, that this relationship is close to linear uh, on a logarithmic scale, which is common for uh, size measurements. It's a field of study called allometry. So that's how you rescale axes in ggplot uh, using functions that start with scale and then the axis that you want to rescale and then the details of the rescaling. And so for log 10 uh, rescaling of the axes, we use scale underscore y underscore log 10 and scale underscore x underscore log 10.